Just so do you know who I you don't know? Yeah, we'll ask the questions. You know, you're okay with questions? Yeah. Are you okay with questions? Yeah. So the no man, the piece of no man's land, you don't know whether it's owned by council or I think it does own, I live down that street. Okay. I think it does own, it is owned by council. Council never come down there okay. ever. Okay, so sorry. Yeah. Um, we can't help you today without without a funding application, but I, I, I see there's probably merits in a funding application. For well, the reason we came in, we, we came in to pay our water rates, and the good lady told us that the meeting was going on. Yeah, that's and okay. That, uh, we also knew via Facebook that it was spraying okay. in Ravani either today or tomorrow or within the next day or so. Okay, so look, Catherine is the lady on the end. This is the lady. Okay, she'll. So, if you want to speak to her, yeah. okay, and, and, and Murray, Emma will also help you. And if you want to have a chat to yeah. Janine outside the meeting, that'd be great. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Okay, right. Um, Medina. No, no, it wasn't me. I swear. I didn't even know what was going to happen. Oh, okay. It wasn't me. I All these kids are just going black. Eh? I had no idea. No. I've been involved in the organising of the Hokkien Country Festival. And we knew from the first festival that local businesses and tourism were going to benefit from our festival by to Hokkiana. That was really well over the last two years. And our second venue was spread across one part of the west over to Kohoko in the north. And our visitors get to see places in Hokkiana that otherwise wouldn't get to see. And it also brings these little townships alive for the weekend. Um, we've applied for funding for the board period and ferry travel to and from Coke Hotel, and also for funding to pay for the hire of two venues, Ravenet and Okamani Hall. Uh, both venues are important to the festival. Okamani Hall has a big dance floor for line dancing, and the Ravenet Hall is a, a go between, between Okamani and Coke. Uh, it also has a, a dance floor for line dancing. Uh, the estimated cost of our festival is 50k. We had 18,500 in our festival account. We've increased our badge sales this year from 30 to 40 and also introduced the $20 day badge. So we kind of estimated based on the number, previous year's numbers, badge sales would be 26k. Um, we've also applied to club charity to cover our accommodation of 27k and sound checks of 11k. Uh, from previous years, club charity had funded 10 to 15k um, to our festival. So, you know, it's an application. I know how much we're going to do. Uh, we've themed our, our festival Welcome Home. Welcome our festival people back after not having a festival in 2020 and the response on Facebook and on our website has been quite exciting to be coming back. So yeah, any funding that we receive will assist. And you're okay with questions? Okay. You're okay if we ask you questions? Okay, there are any questions for Medina. It looks like your funding application your talk was fantastic. <laughs> it's it's self-explanatory, so um, Thank excellent. Thank you very much. I appreciate the funding because it just put the tourist um, that cost. It's one of our major costs. Great stuff. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye.
I'm going to all note here that you want to speak. No. No? Okay. I've got Okay, cool. And Manawai and Sarah. Hi, Oh Hiya, welcome. Playing on the side, but it's lovely to see you all. Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name's Manawai. If you don't already know me, I'm also a community board member for the Bay of Islands Summer School Board, and I'm a Kayati along with Sarah uh, for the family school. Um, a new crack up that's been launched across Aotearoa. We have four regional teams in our government. Our lovely government released 62 million for the next four years to improve access to justice for far no criminal space. And we have been around crisis industry record and violence. And just reminding them they've done the community, they've done the PMI, so they're cool. So I'm going to let Sarah introduce herself because you're a little bit more about what's going on. Does anyone know what family court is? What they do. Hello, my name is Sarah Wendy Davis. So I grew up here at the Bay of College and I will be practicing as a lawyer, mainly in the family um, law space for over 10 years now in this area. So um, I saw this opportunity as a really great one. Um, it's born out of the Kuruwa Report, which was a review of the 2040 changes in the court system. Um, and they found that that will be community that are getting access to um, justice and equity of outcome. So we've been out in the community lately talking to the organisations that are working in that space, um, trying to fill some of those gaps that that report identified, um, and really identifying um, that there is a need there, as you, you would all know, being on the community boards, so things that affect finer housing, um, you know, jobs, um, counselling, and there's um, yeah, budgeting. So, uh, there's a lot of family harm incidents up here in this issue, frankly, particular area. So that's where we're focusing a lot of our attention on. And um, we can the judiciary, the community, and time over to um, try to bridge those, make those people actually identify where they're coming from. Well. And, and maybe uh, divert people away from doing that sort of application in the future. Yeah, the report which gave birth to our roles was co-authored by Judge uh, Ben King. Who's um, from Whangaroa area? So she's based in Bangalore, but we see her sometimes here in Kaikoura, also up from Kaikoura. Um, so she's keeping a very watchful eye over our work on that. So really glad to work on the judges bench and stuff. So we just want to come in and let's. We know that our community boards are here because our community and our community is usually here in the room at the same time. We just wanted to say cool that we should know that we're here. And if you want to, if you find Prana or groups that might want to connect with us, um, hopefully they can send them our way. Or you'll come our way. One of the things we know is that when we have Kaimahi within the court, we start within the court within the ministry, and we had our Prana out of the community, we actually all come in, Kaimahi, judges, as well as the Prana. So um, we really are all in this together. We have that in place of time. So everyone's a sense of what's happening now, and we must consider that it's a really good time to change in that space. I know you might have a must have been called that judgment. Facing the district court space, so um, that must have been called is a really interesting um, couple, um, and the opportunity to join, and there's everybody involved, so the community focus there, and that's what we, I guess, our ultimate goal is taking some. So often our focus um, in terms of our, our court area and focus on criminal, but they're not looking at over think for some reason the court was left outside of that shot. Um, based uh, and so we are hoping to make sure that we get a very much important as well. There's lots of stuff that's being done out there by our mind. Basic stuff, innovation, us um, being more collaborative in our space, not so silent. And um, while it, people might not think, oh, it's interesting that you go to local government to so see what they're up to. But you know, I mean, I know that we're, we're trying to find ways that we can connect to each other in our spaces and be helpful to one another. And while we not, uh, may not think a council or community board might be that place that we can connect, especially in our money, 
but it shows that you're funding education. Right? We have the social housing, we have a lot of initiatives. Here. So I saw a, a, um, a grant that was approved for $20,000 to uh, housing into them uh, over the last few months. I thought, wow, great, I can share the network, but one is from the board. So thank you for leading us to take that journey. Okay. Uh, but we know that then we will be trying to think outside the box because the box doesn't fit. Right, right. You open you for questions? Right, any questions? Are there only then the two family courts, one in Whangarei and one here in Kaikui? There's uh, also quite, uh, quite high. Oh, there is and one. And there's a satellite court in Dark Hall as well. So, therefore, families from North Hokianga go to either Kaikai or Kaikui. They do. A, a lot of the time, Kaikui is here because people have dealt with from Hokianga and they're just getting to the Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, Thank you for your enthusiasm. It's really great. Um, I don't really appreciate it. Can you get me out of the rest of this? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know whether you know the right people to talk to, um, but there's an, an historical court over here in the Pioneer Village who had, that, that they've had some court cases in there. It's a far less imposing atmosphere than mm -hmm. um, the roots. Um, in there, so you might want to just pass that on to the court registrars and say, Look, there's a venue. Mm. Yeah. It is an issue. And one has to be great children. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, Good luck. Janine and Jan. This particular application is to help us to re to do an updated version of the Wokokiana collection of walks. Around, I think it was originally around about 2000. There are a collection of um, walks that you can take now in Wokokiana. They, they updated it and reprinted it in 2019. It hasn't been done since then. The number of copies that were printed back in 2014 has now run out. Um, first of all, we went back to the um, Tourism Association and said, are you, you know, are you going to do this again? And they said, oh, well, the walkers have moved away and no, we're not doing it. I got in touch with Jackie Walker and she said, look, I'm very happy for you to take we have, but you need to make it your own. Make it and create your own. So we've got that chart up on. Um, we have got, there'll be some that we've got. There in the first place. Welcome to Sam. Um, we thought we'll do this properly. Um, we're renaming it Nahi Koyo Hokiyama or Hokiyama Walks. Um, and the young woman who is going to be doing the, um, the rewriting and editing, um, and Rebecca Thorne, she's a professional editor. She looks a lot of columns and she looks in a lot of um, And she, she is quite keen to, to Make it more user friendly in terms of exactly look at look at it and the walk will, will show you whether it's you know, the degree of difficulty when you need more features or or proper boots or whatever. Um, but also we want to introduce more of an element of storytelling so that there will be a piece of piece of information about each walk and hopefully in space. So we're not talking about a lot of words, but we are talking about making it more than just something that takes you on a walk um, and gets people out there. But people are looking at the walk and looking at that beautiful place. So very low level tourism. Um, and basically what we're going to hear is some yes. of the walking yeah. and the remainder of the That's creative work. Um, what do you think I mean? I said help. And the, um, uh, the actual research in stories and walking on the day, which is quite a lot of young Scott and the has begun to design.
on the cover. And it's great. All right, any questions for Janine? The word is still being in the same format. Yes, yes that, that was very that useful. Was, that was very useful, and that was the thing that we, we made sure we came to achieve. They know exactly what to do. And format, um, they will be up there. Slight, 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 because there's a whole list of places around that get can... There's shops and so on, and always put them out there. Do you, do you sell the books or do you give them away? Do you sell the books or give them away? Oh, they have to be stocked. Okay, and what, what happens to the funds when they sell? Okay, well, some of the funds will go to Um, and what we do with our funds beyond that is we support funding funds to not pay the rent at the campus, which we're also supporting. Um, we put money into the toy box, we, we, we put seed money into, into various sort of things. So, It'll take time for any money to come back up, but that money then goes into the other. Okay, and where's the rest of the money coming from? Did, I, did you put that in? We've got two thousand dollars from creative communities for the creative end of it. Okay, and I noticed that um, you've got two people doing design work on the cover. Is that deliberate? Um, or is that two different quotes? Well, you are Alan, who wants to do some, who wants to do seven hundred dollars of the design work. I'm yeah. doing the actual drawing. I'm going to do the actual drawing. But when you're talking about design, um, which is which is about what it will look like on the page, what sort of font will be, what the title will look. Design is a is a different thing from an Okay, Especially so there. so why I say this is Alan 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 Gale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, he says for designing cover dollars. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And, and Rebecca, I know that cover design is not the same as design and cover, but it's close, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cover design is the overall thing. The design he's talking about, he should have said cover illustration, but that's what he's actually talking about. But this is this is what he's so far, you know, he's, he's done that. And he says someone else is going to have to do the do the the design because he's not he's not a designer, he's an illustrator. So okay, cool. Okay. Are you working alongside people at Narnia? Well, funny you should say that. I've been, not directly, but I have a clerk as well. And at the moment, they're not really selling books, but they will be as well. So, in, in one sense, yes, I'm working. Since we haven't directly said to them, we want to do this, we need to stop it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Jean. Good luck. And finally, David. Hello to you all. I'm speaking on behalf of Kaikabia District Sports Bill about getting funding for a feasibility report for a new community. The community call at the moment is held at Northland College. It's around about 70 years old and four years old. It's requiring a lot of ongoing maintenance. It needs repairs, and it only opens for a certain short time of year. And Northwood College don't want it there. 
and the education of the public what they bring in the schools. So what we are looking at is what can they really for in the Lindenbar Park. Now I've talked to quite a number of people in the community about that, and there are people there are people who need hydrotherapy. They're tracking down the final rate for hydrotherapy. There are people who uh, they, they do sports training and they're having to travel early in the morning to Kawaka. And then there are also the people at the Hokiana who have nowhere at all to go. So if we were to put a heated pool in the Lindbar Park, then I believe that we would be doing something great for the community. Uh, but to start with, we have our working party together. They know basically what we want. We're not going for anything too fancy. But we need a feasibility report to act as the foundation for the designs for getting the funding. And that is the quote that we've had. It's hard for people to do it, but the quote we have from our woman who's done a lot of work with sports feasibility studies, and it's for 19,530, of which we're asking for half. Are there any questions? Yes. I usually have the fact that, you know, look, I fully support what you're going to do, absolutely. But I do know that you can get funding from Tikuni Kokiri for feasibility study. We did that for Rayafia, which is in you know, a museum we're building in Woods Tea. I have looked yeah. at their funding. Um, with it, with the yeah, so I'm quite positive that it's probably better to talk to someone who works within technical corporate and they'll give you a better idea. Yeah. But I said, look, I fully support what you're doing because I think we need it definitely. Okay. Yeah. So you've got this overall plan of all the wonderful things that you want to do down there. Yes, I think that would have been good if you put that in this application. But so how many components in that big plan are you going to come to the board for in the influence to get funded? And what does your overall funding strategy look like? Right? So the other week you were here for a motorbike ride, which wasn't the Zimbabwe part. Um, but it's no, but it will be other sports. Oh, yeah. other sports um, yeah. So now we're here for this one. So are we going to see a request for another feasibility study? In a month's time. No. Quite great. I so see you're going, going chat. The other parts of the project, we're looking at a big fitness trail comes sculpture trail at the top of the dump for people to walk around. Uh, I have been talked to Creative New Zealand about funding that one. The landscaping we are in talk with another funder. So I believe the community pool as such a community asset is the other. You're here with the blessing of the board. Okay, so this 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 pool is uh, part of the strategic plan of the board. Yes. Okay, that's cool. Okay, so what do you know so far? And I'm going to I'm going to preface by saying our the strategic plan of this board means that we fund projects that have a high ch high chance of success. Okay, because we've only we well, we've only got a small amount of money, and in what and while Ten thousand dollars doesn't in the grand scheme of things is not a lot of money. It's a lot of money to us because it means that you know between ten, between five and ten other projects are not going to get funded. So that that's that's kind of the, the preface what I'm going to say. Okay, and in my experience, feasibility studies are a sales pitch. The reason you're buying a feasibility study is you can go out and use that feasibility study to sell the idea of a pool. Okay, and what I'm trying to get to here is that I don't see any information. Of even a rudimentary investigation into what you're going to do. Um, and it, I don't think it would take more than four or five hours um, to ring around councils or, um, or or anybody in the country and get the prices of pools so that you can get you might, might be might be wildly inaccurate, but it'll give you the idea of 10 million or 20 million. Um, and and then also what size communities they're going into. So I would I would hope to for this for this you know for us to spend twenty thousand dollars there would have to be a high chance that at the other end we could get this and if you're spending it looking at a twenty million dollar pool 
in a community of 5,000 people and we're going to have to put the rates up by $5,000, that's a, that's a no start, right? Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to sure that it is, but what I was going to say is that if, if, if one end, we've got a billion dollar pool that everybody will say no to, and at this end, we've got a pool that, you know, a free pool that everybody will say yes to, and somewhere in the middle, there's a line that just doesn't make sense for Coco. And I, and I would hope that before we have this, we would know, roughly speaking, what part of that continuum is. Because, you know, if, if, if it's a gutter, then we'll, we'll help. I'm sorry, I'm not I'm speaking myself, but I, I, I'd, I'd help a sales pitch. But I'm not quite sure whether this is only a sales pitch for something you can't sell. Sorry, I, I broke my own rules there. It was, supposed to be a, it was supposed to be a question. Sorry, 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 Debbie. So, have, and sorry, the question was, have you done any other work? Yes. Okay. We have talked to the new 10 people in help. We've got their plans for all their advice from them. We're looking at a $5 million pool. Yeah. Uh, we've even been in talks with Valbrainer, who manage a lot of the pools around the country. How about how we can cheapen that? Yeah. With the option of having a retractable roof so that it's not heated during the summer months, saving a lot of operational costs. Yeah. Basically, all we are looking at is a 25 metre six lane pool. Six lane? With a little side pool with a ramp down so that people can come in for hydrotherapy purposes and platforms which they can lower in so that they can teach young kids within a decent depth pool. Yep. So that is, uh, they're, they're working very hard on making it as cheap as possible for the community. Okay. And they're also looking at attaching it to the multi sport complex, which is presently there, so that the one reception person means the whole thing when you're looking at another. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, they, well, the first follow-on question was, um, how much does it cost every year to run? I mean, how much would a pool, roughly speaking? I mean, have you done? Have you asked that question? Uh, I have asked that question. Yeah. The usual thing that people say is that pools do not make money. No, no. But we know we understand that. So, so you're right. going to come to the council for a targeted rate? But I have already been talking to people like. Uh, the room I have yep. about possibly getting operational funding through other means yep. because of running. Okay, so what, what is the number per year? What is the, the EP per annum number for running a pool of that size? I think it was um, at the Sport Northland report I looked this morning for a 25 metre pool, it was between 350,000 to a million, depending on various factors. Okay. Okay, and have you spoken to the Kaitaia people, yes, the Kaitaia community? Uh, the, because they're putting a pool up there? Yes, yes, I've okay. talked to them, I say they've shared their plans and they've told me. Okay, and, and have they shared with you their process for getting the pool? In other words, because I know they, they went out and asked the community, look, we've got to come up with a million dollars a year. Are you prepared to fund that in the community before they even started? Yep, yeah, we'll, we'll, um, we'll have a target rate over the, the, the area. So has that been a consideration of yours? I mean, how are you going to fund it? Because a million dollars is a lot of money, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, that's been a consideration. That's part of the feasibility report. Is making sure that that works. Okay. okay. Any other questions? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 25 years ago, I'd say, you know, some of the reports have started to research at that stage. You can't make comments to the report. You look at all the sports, okay, and you can't tell you where they are. And the ODA arts were And in the end, they suggested that you get a bit for the project. You the physiotherapist in town. He's part of the, um, he couldn't be on the working party, but he's putting the support for doing that. And has he brought forward any information that he had to share? He's getting on it. I'm trying to get hold of a copy of that report. It's still in the mix of it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
it must be quite a, a large uh, thing around our community for um, like five hundred swimming clubs around the local Facebook page, which received a couple of hundred comments from people, all in support of the pool for various reasons. The other thing was the chair. Farmer District Council owes our board at least two million dollars. Still owing. They built an astro turf, which cost 1.2 million. But we made a saving of three million dollars through refuse. So in my mind, the Farm of District Council still owes a million. And when you're looking about a million for a pool, I can see it. And the bureaucrats change. That's the problem. That's what they want to do. They have gone. Keep reminding money there. They are our board. That's why I'm going to bring up later about this propaganda thing. And my account. We need to address it for our board. We're just getting left out from the other two boards. Anyhow, I, I just like you to involve the community if you, if you do get the funding. Oh, I think that's a great idea. And I think if we have a community pool, I know that even where I live 20 minutes out, we would be coming here to do it. A pool can make a community. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, right. What we're going to do, Kelly, do you want a break? Yeah, please. Yeah, okay, we're, we're, we're just going to have a 10 minute break um, and then we'll get back into business. Thank you.
want to have a seat and we'll get this thing underway. Okay, right. Um, are there any changes to the uh, minutes of the meeting? Well, are they accurate enough? Okay, I'll put that to the vote. All those uh, agree that the Kaiko Hill Camp Community Board confirms the minutes of the meeting held on 7th of July as a proof of record. All those uh, anybody against? Carried. Okay, right. Excuse me, I'm just learning how to use this computer thing here. Okay, so reports, funding applications, all right. Okay, so item number 7.1, funding applications. Is that right? Just, just hold on here, guys. I'm, I'm just, just, just struggling with the um, using this on the computer and not being able to go back and forth. Do we, Catherine, do we have a um, a funding report, like the funding balance report this time? No. Do we know how much money is left? No. That comes from finance. They haven't done yet because they haven't come to roll over it or I still have not been given time numbers for the staff of this. Okay. Okay, right. What we'll do is we'll go to. Um, How are we supposed to know what the funding's got? Make a calculation from last time. Okay, trust me, I have shared that because it's all three boards. Um, so, yeah, no, they're um, working on it. We have been advised that it will be a 25% increase on last year. I know what I think that's going to Okay, so why don't we just just because of the way, just in case there's any um, need to go into public exclusion, we'll do that at the end of the meeting. Yep. So why don't we go straight on and do uh, items 8.1 and 8.2, back to 7.2 and then 7.1. So Coco Civic Hub Working Party update. Do I have a motion for that? I move that. Okay, so more for second by John. Um, do you want to speak to anything more for? Um, this was just requested to keep us updated. Yeah. Um, Bill might want to speak to his report, but it outlines kind of where we're at. Um, okay, no, we, we, don't have, yeah, we don't have staff members speak to reports. The reports are normally taken as read. Yeah. But if we have any questions, then um, you're feel free to ask yeah. the report provider here. Yeah. Any, any other comments? Questions? No? Okay, all those in favour? Aye. Anybody against? Carried. Okay, 8.2. We'll have a move of that. <coughs> Kelly, was that you did I hear? You, you, do you move that the community board receive the report? Yeah. And second by John. Kelly, do you want to speak to that? Did you want a, a menu motion to include that? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Any other comments on that? Yes, I the only one that provides any information out of all the planning, planning everything. We get nothing from them in our. In our Plus, great, great question, Mark. SNA was thrown at us, and there was no information in here about SNAs right there. Yeah. yeah. The same with rating, that's what I'm going to bring up later. I mean, there's just no information like uh, vaccine has received it here. Okay, so you like, you're, you're thinking uh, board specific information? Yep. Board specific information. Yep. But the information regarding our ward and the roading of the ward. I think there's an equity in our funding at the moment, and I think we're missing out. And I think unless this board stands by its two councillors, 
and say, hey, this is enough. We want more in our ward than what we're getting. Well, like in the past, the reason we got this before was because we asked us. That's exactly right. Yeah. We yeah. asked for it. I can't see why we can't ask for the other information as well. Is yeah. it possible to put a motion to that? Yeah, absolutely. And, that, and that's why I asked Laurie, did you, does he want ward specific information? If, yeah. you want, if you want general information, then we just get the reports from the council. Well, that's fair enough, but it gives us an idea of who's coming through the door or whatever. Yeah. But, is that as well? You know, community for halls or council halls? We do get a budget report now and again. Um, I think is it quarterly? I'm not quite sure. Yes. Um, that tells us how we how the council is tracking in regard to halls and so forth in our board. Um, but I mean, I, I, I Laura, I, I think it's a great question. You know, I mean, it, I'd love to know. Comparatively speaking, how much money is spent on roads in the, in the West? Uh, I don't think you would get it. Um, I mean, the, in, the CE and the Mayor agree, and the Deputy Mayor agree with the Council of Usage here that he would get a report um, showing how much capital spending was in each ward. And I think that was three or four months ago um, and never got it. Um, so I think you're probably, and the reason I think it's probably gives you are quite correct, I think that it would be too damaging to listen System. Okay, so what what particular information do you want? Let's 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 start that. Or do you want a workshop, or have um, IMs or somebody who can give us that information come in, and you'll have a bit of a workshop as to what we want. But two months ago, we we asked for more. Money. The CEO was here. John to talk about a metric, and we had no information there. Absolutely. Yeah. Then Transport New Zealand turns up about the, the signage, road signage, ADK and whatever. We go out to Tipura Road intersection. It's two months now. That hundred k sign hasn't been shipped. Now our concrete truck tipped on its side. Over. Where's the report from that guy that's come back to say this is what's happened? Why haven't? Why hasn't that been shifted to the other side of the intersection? Because it makes common sense. But from Wellington or him, I don't report back at all. These guys are coming. I'll be here again. Does anybody want those kind of reports? I mean, we, we could be here till midnight and if we get all the reports yeah. that, 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 that are available about things. I'd like to be here for what's going on. At the last meeting, we asked all those questions and we got some responses to some of those questions that yeah. we asked. Yeah. I think we should be doing that on a regular basis if we're not getting the stuff we need, like the issue of the code of code of wall. Yeah. What's happening there? Like, okay, we're going to be responsible for, for the footpath, but I don't think that's adequate enough to, to you know, this thing is ticking away. Of, of money that's been allocated for our board spent on footpaths as well. You know, like, there's a lot of work involved in getting these things happening. A lot of research work that the council will go do before they can put a footpath in. It's just ticking away, and we're going to end up with another. Three or four hundred thousand that we could miss out on because we're not progressing this issue over the footpath. It's the same with a lot of other. Okay, so there's there's several questions running around. There's several ideas being thrown across, the page, okay, and we can't deal with them all at once because they're totally no, different no, ideas. No. Okay, so um, and, and 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 in fact, I'm not even late for this. However, I think one is what other reports do we want? Yeah. Um, and so if there's a particular report that you think is necessary for us to do our jobs, then let's ask for it. Okay, so uh, yeah, Laurie, is, is there a particular number that you want to know be reported to us okay, each month? Like the next cartoon is for a month or two. Yeah. Yeah. So what, what, what does that mean? Oh, like 10 cents here, 10 cents there, 10 cents there. I mean, that's a joke. Yeah. So I, I come back to my question, Laurie. What particular set of numbers would you like given to us? Our meetings. Writing report. <coughs> so containing what? Um, consents issue. Should be consents. How many consents in our ward? For 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 writing. No, no. For okay. consents. Building consents. Okay, so hang on. So, so in case I've been waiting three months for a. Okay, so, so Laurie, Laurie, I'm going to tell you what. Let's let's 
this is going to be on the scope of this item, but I think the stuff that you talk about is important. So can you bring up the workshop afterwards? Because then we can go straight into it and we can get we can we can ask. Mr. Chairman, the problem with a workshop, it's not in the councillor's support. It must be brought up at our meeting, and that's why I asked you okay. a question either before, either I would address it in the public forum or I want an opportunity okay. to address it here. Okay, so as chair, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put, my, put put this on the line, right? Oh, no, this no. this this item is about this report. Okay, I allowed a, a deviation into more information that you want that you wanted, okay. but you're you're unable to list the I'm information. Sorry, I'm, no, I'm happy for you to put that through, and I thank you for information. But I think as a community board, we should be asking for more information on where are we going to be. Eight years ago, there were 159 staff here, there are now 333 staff. We where? How much does the body of corporate cost? How many million a year in wages? Thirty six. I mean, it's just, I mean, the people out there are not happy. Okay. But I can tell you the questions you get asked. Okay, so the, the best way of handling this is for us to 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 flesh it out in a workshop so we understand and understand each other and what we want, and then we'll bring it to a meeting and we'll make it public. That's that's the only way. It can happen. But when you flesh it out, what do you mean by that, Mike? Because I mean, he's been quite. No, he's not being. Because I asked him. I asked, he said Roding. And I asked, what numbers do you want for roading? And he says consent. And I says, does that is that roading? And he says no. So he's not being specific. Okay. We've got to be able to bring specific stuff to this meeting. We can be as vague as we want in a workshop. Okay. And we can go round and round and round. We can spend five hours in a workshop, but we can't spend five hours on this item. Okay. So the, so the only thing we, this here is 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 now out of subject. So we'll we'll bring it up in a workshop. If you want to bring it up in workshop reports, so forth, we'll bring it up. Okay, so anybody else wish to speak to this, this topic? Okay, all those in favour? Okay. Yeah, back to item 7.2. Okay, project planning reports. Do I have a, a, a motion, please? Yep. Okay, so member Van Garen moves that the Kaikei Hokian Community Board notes the project reports received from Jack Entertainment Halabalu, Kaikei Rib Football Club might attend televised game and Kaikei Rib Football Sports Club consent for life. At this point in time, I'll only direct the meeting, I won't talk and I won't vote because I, I, I'm a member of the Kaikei Rib Club. Okay, any other questions? Seconded, seconded by um, usage. Okay, Councillor Hawkins, you're any questions? All those in favour? Yeah. Anybody against? Member Chair Chair Edmonds abstained. Right. Oh. Okay, back to seven point two, seven point one. Just before you do, I just want to note that I'm on the board of the Sports Board, so I'm on the board of the Sports Board. Okay, so why don't we? Okay, so I'll go back to them. Okay, so just quickly, normally I get a motion for public excluded. Um, is, there, is there likely to be a motion for public excluded from the floor for any of these items? Okay, which one? Uh, do you, okay, well, why don't we? I think we've done it before. So okay, that's cool. Um, is there any that deal without public exclusion? Is there any? Is there any here? Okay, so hang on, let's put it this way. Do you think we need public exclusion for 7.2a? Point, does anybody want public exclusion for 7.2a? 7.2b? 7.2c? 7.2d? Okay, 7.2e? And 7.2f? Yes. You want public exclusion for that? On what reason? That's the hot, that's the um, how about Okay, right. Um, so 7.2D, okay, so can I have a motion? Um, can I have a motion then? Oh, oh, it's, it's going to be slightly out of order. Um, for public exclusion for seven point for parts of the discussion of 7.2D and 7.2F. Is that you, Mokul? Okay, so Mokul moves that we move into public exclusion for um, the, the parts of the discussion for 7.2D and 7.2F. Um, on the basis that uh, for, of free and frank discussion uh, and 
debate is that the privacy of natural and natural people and individuals. Yes. Do I have a second of that? Yep. All those in favour? Aye. Okay, so we'll move into public exclusion at that time. Alan moves that the Kaka Hokan Community Board approves the sum of 4,316 okay. to be paid from the Community Board Fund account for Hokianga Community Education Trust for towards the Walker Hokianga publication to support the funding from the outcomes of community of the safe, healthy, connected, and sustainable public and communities. Do I have a second? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. any, any discussion? Sorry, just a chair. There were three. Who was the second? Yeah. Yeah. Do I have a, do any discussion on that? I'll leave you. Who do you want to call about first? Could you move it? Um, 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 we know that any, any money that comes out of this is going back into our community. Yeah. Through this group. Yeah. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favour? Aye. Okay. Carried. Okay. 7.2b. Who would like to move that with or without a blank? Yeah, yeah. With a number or with a blank? The number. Okay. So the Kaiko Hokkien Community Board approves the sum of 3235 to be paid for the, the Community Board's fund account for the Hokkien Country Music Festival for costs towards the 2021 Hokkien Country Music Festival to support the following community outcomes. Uh, all right. Do I have a second? Yeah. Right, any comments, Louis? I think they do a fantastic job every year. It's a pretty safe event. They look at the And the money's coming straight back to the council. I'm always yeah, yeah. Any, any, any money they have to spend to the council, I'm quite happy paying. So. Yeah. Um, does the script go to our event fund? It's a great idea. No, they didn't. Because, you know, it's quite And after everything had already been closed off. Oh. So. Okay, so did. Yeah, I was going to say. Send them a letter. Make that recommendation. They seem to be very difficult to get in contact. I'm actually impressed that they turned up today because they don't have. Oh, that's what you can you suggest them? <laughs> can you suggest to them? Here's the money, but you're not going to get it next year because yeah. there's the event money to go for. Because we we got nothing from the west at all. Yeah. Okay. All those in favour? Aye. Anybody against? Carried. Okay. Do I have a move of 7.2C? Alan moves that the Kaikou Hokkien Community Board approves the sum of a thousand dollars to be paid for the board's community fund account for Kaikou and District responsible for cost of Mary Ward and monitoring of Penny Prayers. By Emma. Any comments, Alan? No, I just think they do a marvellous job. Yeah. And they need support. I think they do a marvellous job. But I was wondering, do they actually get paid for the job that they do? I think, I think the people that have to do it are volunteers, I think. Yeah, okay. yeah. And they get a cup of tea, cakes, and other sounds for mm -hmm. Yeah, and $100 for their fundraising efforts. Yeah. 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 I think they do a very good job. Uh, and it's resolved the situation. Yeah, I'd love to see them actually being given warrants to issue parking tickets. Not necessarily, <laughs> not necessarily around Penny Creeks, um, but throughout. No, not not warrant offences, but for parking infringements that are really, really severe in um, in Kaikou, we could do with some action. Right? Yeah. Um, I would just, does does the chair of the regulatory committee watch these? So that would be a great idea. Excellent. Thank you, Madam Chair. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all those in favour? Anybody against? Gary. Okay, so 7.2e. Um, do I have a mover for that? Okay, so Mokko moves that the Kaikai Hokkien Community Board amends their resolution 2 June 2021 and approves the sum of 4724 to be paid from the board's community fund account to the Farmer District Council for travel costs or three attention. Three students attending our bound. Do you have a second? Okay. Second, does anyone want to talk about this? Um, Sean, who was our first to go down, got yeah. passed his exam and got accepted into the Army and he was Wow. Awesome. Cool. Thank you. Um, 
that's what I'm talking about. Right. Share. Catherine, if you could share that with me, I can put it on the uh, community board Facebook page. That's great. Celebrate yeah. good yeah. things. How did all the others go? Um, Lula, 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 so she's just started her house renovations. Yeah, and that will be done. We've got um, very people in Texas, but I'm in New Zealand, we've got a lot of people in New Zealand. Our uh, local government New Zealand conference will be here, and it is the biggest state in the And she had just glowing reviews on. Our students and they, they were shy, our shorn, shorn, shy at the beginning, um, but you know, really well behaved and yeah. really um, grateful to be there. But then after the experience, they said, you know, I couldn't shut them up. It's <laughs> raining and just so full of like, energy, um, and it's going to pay off great. Yeah, I'm going to shut up. She's been bumping them open arms and making sure they get on their shuttle and get to Alpha Town. So, I think I think. so remind me, our, our funding was for the travel costs. It was just for the travel costs. And for uh, bridge funding to for them to do the expenses. Outward bound covers $3,000. And we cover $800 off. Okay, so should, should, that, that really should be part of that resolution, should it not? Travel costs. And, yeah. and attendance. Yeah, okay, so we'd like to move. I'll, I'll move that amendment. I'll amend, amend the motion to include amend, uh, and attendance costs after travel costs. Do I have a second one? Yeah. Any more comments? All those in favour? Okay. Right. Any, more, any further comments on the whole, whole motion? Okay, right. I'll put that motion to the floor. All those in favour? Aye. Right. Anybody against? Carried. Okay, so. Public forum. Uh, no, what we'll do is we'll put the motion first uh, with blanks, and because the the public discuss public exclusion is only for those comments to be made that require public exclusion. All the other comments can be made in public. Um, so the motion is the only motion for seven D, seven point two D. Sorry. Yeah, it was on a blank. Yeah. Okay, so. Multiple moves that the Kaikou Hokkien Community Board approves the sum of blank from the Community Board's fund account for Kaikou and District Sports Board Board's costs towards a Kaikou Heated Pool Feasibility Study to support the one community yeah. outcome. So I have a seconder. Yeah. Alan? Okay, and we'll pop that on. Um, okay, so does anybody want to discuss anything that can be discussed in public now before we go into public discussion? I'll pop this on. Okay. All okay, right, we'll put that, okay, we'll just lay that on the table in a minute. Um, and 7.2 have to have a uh, the move for that. With... Okay, um, and John moves that the Kaka Hall Bank Community Board further directs the balance of funding and actually set aside uh, without doubt students to be added to the fund set aside the real travel funding amount of 1275, oh, sorry, 1275 Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay, right. We'll put work that all on the table until we go into public exclusion. Should we do that? Mm -hmm. Just one moment while I end the live stream. Uh, it's, it's, it's a
Okay, so I'll bring up the motion 7.2D back on the floor that the Kaikai Hokkien Community Board approves the sum of blank be paid from the Bills Community Fund account Kaikai and District Sports Board for cost towards the Kaikai Heated Pool Feasibility Study to support the following community outcomes. So, we've got a choice here. Um, we either just vote it down on mass or, or put a number in. So, um, does anyone who wish to amend that with a value or are we just going to go straight to voting? Okay, right. All those in favour of approving the sum of blank, mm -hmm. move to say aye. All those against? Okay, the motion is, motion is, is um, lost. Um, and as per our discussion, John Busick will take back our comments to the board. Yes, John. Sure. Well, thank you. Okay, and 7.2F brought up that the Kaikai Hokkien Community Board further directs the balance of funding initially set aside for outbound students to be added to the Rural Travel Fund in the amount of 1275.84. I believe there's an amendment um, to work for rural travel funding to be struck out um, and future outward bound funding to be put in. Do I have a from the oh yeah, from the Kaikai Hokkien Award for, for future outward bound uh, applicants from the Kaikai Hokkien Award. Okay, so the amendment was made by Mopo. Do I have a second for that? Yeah. All those in favour of the amendment? So that we are sorry, through the chair, we are we're removing rural travel funding? Yeah, and inserting um, outward bound funding for students from the Kaikai Hokkien Award. Thank you. Uh, also, all in favour of the, the substantive motion? Anybody against? Carried. So right. that was moved by yourself and Moko? Moko, then John. Okay, thank you. Right, that's it. We have one yes. more item, sorry. Which, which is the item? Uh, that's the um, project reports. Have we done that? 6.2, sorry. Yeah, we, did, that. we did 6.2. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll we'll do that in the workshop because the the the, the question is not set yet, so it's going to require yeah that that, that stuff needs to be done for back. I'll explain that in a minute. Okay, so what we'll do is um, we'll finish the meeting. I can declare the meeting closed. Casey, can you end the live stream, please? <laughs>